Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the most popular perfumes which is called The Moon, created by Julian Raskine and released by Frédéric Mallet. So Frédéric Mallet is an editor de parfum, which means that he is uh, getting in touch with great perfumers all over the world. They discuss about a project, he is offering them unlimited budget and he expects the product without giving them many indications like a normal perfume company would do. And when the final product is ready and everybody is happy Frederic Malay and also the perfumer those perfumes get added to the lineup of Frederic Malay one nice thing that I have noticed about the Frederic Malay perfumes is that they were through the first ones which put the name of the perfumer together with the house so you will have here Frederic Malay and the name of the perfumer Julian Raskine also you have Frederic Malay Dominique Ropion so Edition de Parfum Frédéric Mallet mentions their perfumers and that's something that I really like. Julian lives in Paris and Dubai so his creations are very inspired by the Middle East so his creations have oriental notes like rose, wood, frankincense or saffron. Let me now take it out of the box to show you the bottle. This is how all the packages from Frédéric Mallet look like. This is the bottle of the moon. As you can see, the perfume is very, very dark. Many times when you see these dark colored perfumes, they are not from the ingredients inside. They are so dark because they use colorants, but I have checked the box and this perfume has no CI, which is the short for colorants. On the box so it means that whatever you see here as this dark perfume it's from the ingredients that is like this the moon plays a leading role in the life in the Middle East it symbolizes the beginning and the ending of all the festivity yet in Arabic the moon also evokes a romantic meaning so if you call somebody my moon it shows your devotion to that person and eternal love and for the ones of you which are fans of Game of Thrones, maybe you remember when Khaleesi met Khal Drogo, that he was calling her my moon and the stars. And now knowing the story from this perfume from the moon by Frédéric Mallet, I realized that that type of calling that he was using for her, it was inspired by the Arabic culture, that just like a little side note. The moon is a warm, floral, opulent perfume which meets an abundance of red berries. So as notes in this perfume you would have raspberry, lychee, saffron, red currant, frankincense, Turkish rose, wood and leather. So now I'm presenting you the perfume and tell you a bit the story behind it and how I see it. I will not spray it because honestly with one spray of this perfume the whole house will smell. It will not come off for like days and I really then need to go take a shower again if I spray it on the skin the whole room will smell like the moon so this is great if you go out or if you go to an event or if you want to impress someone with this beautiful and exclusive smell but indoors use it with caution there is another perfume on the market created also by Julian Raskine with similar notes like this one and is Fidelis from Histoire de Parfum I can tell you that they are similar for about 5 minutes and then after 5 minutes Fidelis goes in its own way with beautiful smell of coffee, with cardamom and um, not so powerful fruits yeah, but the moon it will push all the time, it will push and push and push and you'll feel this red berries smell a lot and the natural wood into it. It does not have this skanky cows on the field type of wood. The wood in here is very pleasant, very high quality and it's, bl it's blended so well that you cannot even 
take it out of the whole complexity of the perfume. This is a perfume that can be worn all the times with care, like I said. It's very expensive, so most likely you need to put money aside a while until you can get a bottle or maybe you can get a 50 milliliter in some offer on some website. This is the 100 milliliter bottle and how powerful it is. I am sure that this perfume will last me really my whole life. I don't have any doubt that even when I will be old, I will still have this bottle in my drawer and it will still have quite a lot because with one or two sprays, you're good to go for days. It's great for colder months. It's great for colder summer evenings when you go to greet the moon, like the name says. But um, for the summer or warmer days, I think it would be too powerful and it will overwhelm you for sure. It will choke you and you will not enjoy it. So please use it with care and only in colder days or colder months. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of this masterpiece created by Julian Raskinet together with Frédéric Mallet. Please comment down below what is your experience with Frédéric Mallet perfumes and if you know this one or Promise or even Fidelis from Histoire de Parfum. And I hope to see you soon on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.